Have you ever experienced LED light dimmer flicker? Well, I have too. And in this video, I'm gonna explain what I did to resolve it. Coming up next. What's going on guys? Kendall here for Reynolds for Pros and Joes, helping you simplify the renovation and remodeling process. On this channel, we do hands-on product tool and gear reviews, as well as renovation tip and strategy videos like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about LED lights and dimmer switches. Now, recently I did a renovation project that involved installing LED recessed lighting, and one of the components of that project was also changing over from a standard light switch to a dimmer switch. Dimmer switch, in my opinion, makes the light a little bit brighter, but what's not up for debate is the fact that it does allow you to adjust the light brightness up and down. The range is gonna depend on the type of dimmer switch you have, as well as the fixtures that you have installed. The room that we renovated started out with two ceiling fans as the only sources of light in the room. So we removed those and installed 16 can lights. The next phase of the project was to install a dimmer switch. So before installing the dimmer switch, we tested everything out with a standard light switch that was already in place. Everything worked properly, no issues. When we installed the dimmer switch, the first thing that we discovered was that when you turn the lights on, they flicker and fluttered. And in order to stop the light from fluttering, you had to essentially uh, move the toggle switch back and forth gently and kind of bump it up and down. And after a second or two, the lights would settle down and you wouldn't have a problem anymore. This was consistent every single time that you turn the lights on. So you could turn the lights on, they would flicker and flutter. You have to adjust the toggle switch up and down slightly. It would level out then you wouldn't have an issue at all for the entire time that you had the lights on. However, you could turn the lights off and turn it right back on and you have the problem again, consistently every single time, regardless of how much time passed, whether you turn the lights back off and turn them back on within seconds, or if it was five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, an hour, you had the same issue. And so I began doing some research online and found a dimmer switch that was different than the one that I initially had installed. Now let me go back up and say that the can lights as well as the dimmer switch both came from an electrical supply house here locally. So they did not come from a big box store, so I was dealing directly with a supplier that works with contractors. So that's where all my materials came from. I initially called them and asked them if they had ever heard of anyone having this issue. And the first thing they asked me was, well, are you sure that you have them wired up right? And I said, yes, I tested everything and I tested everything without the dimmer switch first to confirm that everything worked properly, which it did. So I did everything that I needed to do on the front end, and then I even shot a video of what it looked like when the lights were flickering and fluttering and sent that over there to my rep at the supply house so that he could see it. So what he did for me was he called some other contractors and he particularly knew of one that had had a similar issue to the one that I had. He called him to find out what he had done. And I'll tell you what he said here in a little bit later. So the next thing I did was I went back and went to the big box stores and found a dimmer switch that was compatible with the lights that I had. And the first thing that I did was look at the recessed lights themselves. On the LED box, it shows frequently it will have a list of the compatible switches that you can use. Now, the one thing I will say about that is that what I ran into was that the switches that they recommended, a lot of them I could not match up the SKU and model number exactly. So I had to go and get what I could that was as close as possible. So I, in any case, I'm at the big box store, I buy that, I come back to the job site and I swap it out and try to see if that one will work. Same problem, okay? So this causes me to do even more research. So now I'm I'm getting slightly frustrated, but I decide I'm gonna take a little bit more time and do even more research on this to see what I can come up with. So I check out all the different blogs that are being written and maintained by electrical supply houses and suppliers, manufacturers, and even um, just online electrical resource websites. And so I did that. I got up to speed on even further than what I already had prior to doing this. So now I'm looking at dimmer switches that are only available online. 
So I ordered one that I figured would do what I needed it to do based on its specs, and I waited for it to come in the mail. It arrived in the mail, unboxed it, of course, and installed it. We try again. Same problem. Maybe slightly better, but essentially the same problem. You flip, you flip the switch on, it's fluttering, and you still have to do the, the toggle jiggle to make it turn off or make it stabilize. So essentially the same problem. So after going round and round with this, one of the things that I was slowly coming to the realization was that this technology has not completely been built out around these LED light fixtures. And so this was my third LED switch attempt, all of which were unsuccessful. And so when I did hear back from my representative at the supply house, what he told me was, and this is the part that you're not going to like, he told me he didn't like it either, but he told me anyway. He said the other person that I spoke with who had the same issue told me that the only way that they were able to resolve it was by changing out the fixtures. And so that is exactly what I did. So I uninstalled all of these recess LED lights. Luckily, I saved all my boxes, so that's a good tip for you. If you're installing a bunch of these lights, do not throw your boxes away until you're 100% sure that those fixtures are gonna work with a dimmer and whatever setup you've got going on there. So if you're having someone else install them or you're doing them yourself, whatever the case may be, make sure that it is well understood that those boxes are not to be crushed, thrown in a dumpster, hauled off, none of that. You want all your boxes on site and in pristine condition in the event that you have to return them. So I bought new fixtures, installed all of them, and turned the switch on again and guess what? There's no problems. I didn't even switch out between the dimmer switches to see if it was just the one that I had, kind of let bygones be bygones and move forward with the project. But the point that I want to drive home is that the technology isn't completely foolproof. And what I mean is you have all types of different fixtures out there that are currently on the market and the LED light fixtures have not become the industry standard in all houses. So until that happens, the switches and the components that they make as supporting equipment has not yet caught up to speed with those fixtures. And so the best thing you can do is do your research and select the one that you believe is gonna work best for your installation and then bring it home and try it out and see if it works. Now, of course, if you have the lights wired incorrectly, then they probably aren't gonna work right. So make sure that before you fly off the axe handle and start going into the same mode that I went into with doing all types of research and looking everywhere online, make sure that you have your wiring correct, okay? And so that's pretty much the point that I wanted to make. Hopefully you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.